what is absolute humidity? So absolute humidity is the amount of water vapour contained in a set volume of air. Um, so it's in grams per litre. Okay. What about relative humidity? So relative humidity is a um, percentage. So it's the amount of uh, water vapour contained in a sample compared to the amount of water vapour that sample can hold if fully saturated. Okay. What about absolute zero? So absolute zero is um, a point in the scale where it cannot get any colder. Um, so it is at, mm, I've forgotten what temperature is at. Very cold. Very cold. <laughs> All right. Um, what is one Kelvin? So one Kelvin is a one over 273.16 of the triple triple point of water. Um, it's a measure of temperature and it's the SI unit for temperature measurement. What about boiling point? So boiling point is the um, temperature at which the um, saturated vapour pressure of a liquid uh, equals atmospheric pressure. Um, it is when the molecules within a liquid have gained enough energy to move into their gas or vapour phase. My personal favourite, what is candela? A candela is a um, measure of the luminosity of an object and it's the SI, SI unit for light. Okay. So what is one candela? Uh, one candela is the luminous intensity of a set thing that I can't remember, but of, <laughs> of a constant. <laughs> Thanks, fine. No, no problems, yeah. Um, okay. Um, what is, um, so you talked about temperature. Um, what are the different ways you can measure temperature? So temperature can be measured um, by physical properties. Um, sorry, non just, just list, Just list, classify and list examples. Okay, so um, non-electronically can be things like uh, mercury thermometers that use expansion of mercury, alcohol thermometers, or um, colour changing strips. Um, electronically can include um, the use of thermistors, thermocouples, um, and then you can also measure temperature using infrared radiation devices. Okay, any others? Um, probably. <laughs> um, not like I can um, think of. You, so you talked about physical properties um, changing um, in the property of uh, different substances. Mm -hmm. Any other, and is there any other change that we can use? Um, um, to measure temperature. Okay, tell me about tell me about the bimetallic strip. Okay, so the bimetallic strip uses the Seebeck effect. Um, so it consists of two metals which will have different uh, thermal coefficients. Because of this, uh, electric charge will be created between the two uh, strips and this can be extrapolated to measure temperature um, depending on the difference between the two metals and the current created. That will depend on the temperature difference. Okay. Okay. What about the Bordon gauge? So the Bordon gauge um, uses a, well, uses the perfect gas laws so that as um, there is a fixed volume of gas, as this is heated, this expands and this expansion pushes a pointer across a scale, um, indicating the temperature change from within the, the coil. All right. So you talked about um, the liquid expansion thermometers. Um, which ones? Which of which of the liquids will you prefer for very cold, and which one will you prefer for very hot temperatures? So for very cold temperatures, we tend to use alcohol thermometers because the boil, uh, the sorry, the freezing point of alcohol is very low. Um, for um, hot temperatures, we tend to use uh, mercury thermometers. Um, although both of these are 
sort of got going out of fashion because of the risks of using the, these types of thermometers. Um, was the was the boiling point of alcohol? Just the last uh, question. Part, I think the freezing oh. point is below like a hundred minus one hundred and fifty degrees, but. All right. Fine. No problem.